Hey, what's up guys? It's Eric here. I'm actually at the famous Stars Mill in Fayetteville, Georgia. Photographed a uh, spot in the state of Georgia. And also my wife and I got married right over there 21 years ago. Well, I'm doing a quick video inspection on my 21 Bronco. We bought it new. We got it August of 2021. And it uh, we got to be the first people in, in, the, in the county to get one. And while I was, I was ordering it, within 24 hours of the orders coming out in 2020, you could do a little order form, $500 deposit. I started to click on some buttons and do a customize, and then I realized, you know, since these are so new, whatever little customizations they offer on the website, everybody's gonna have those. I want something that looks unique. I wanna do it my own way, just a little bit. I want my own little touch of, uh, of, uh, of customization. So I just wanted to walk you around. We've spent over $10,000 customizing the Bronco. It's a big bend, four-cylinder, 10-speed. I did a ton of research on the engines, and I really just wanted the four-cylinder. Uh, it's super powerful. I've done a little bit of light towing with it. It's great. Probably could do even heavier towing. Uh, but we got it in August of 21. It's got another year left on the bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty, three-year, 36,000-mile, and then another three years left on the five-year, 60,000-mile warranty. So one of the main things that I did right when I got it was, I didn't click the Sasquatch package button. Um, the thing on the Sasquatch package that I couldn't get uh, aftermarket is front and rear locking differentials. So it doesn't have that. All the off-roading we've done in the past 15 years in our Jeeps, we rarely use them anyways. So I wasn't worried about that. What I was worried about was paying extra for the Sasquatch package and having a Bronco that looked like everybody else's Bronco because on the Sasquatch package, they put a wider plastic fender. I put steel bushwhacker uh, fenders on there and I love them. Uh, another thing, the Sasquatch comes with two and a half inch lift kit. We put a two and a half inch lift kit on it. Custom wheels, did a little extra custom uh, Bronco logo there and then put 35 inch Nido grapplers on there. These tires are awesome. I do a lot of research. They're quiet when you're driving down the highway and they're amazing when you deflate them and go off-roading with them customize the front and put the bron red bronco letters actually i've only seen one other person do that and it's something different it was a, at a custom shop so then we put the running boards on the bottom and the black stripe to go along with the uh, bushwhacker fender flares and that looks awesome the only cosmetic flaw that i know of that my bronco has is the exact same cosmetic flaw that every jeep we've ever owned or any of my buddies have and that is these tires over time, do kick up rocks, even pick up a rock, kick it up. And so there's a few little chips. If you look really, really closely down here, there's a few little rock chips along the rocker. And so, and then with the little bushwhacker, uh, has a couple of little chips on it right there. Other than that, and actually that's just dirt, <laughs> wiping that off. Um, other than that, there's no cosmetic flaws. We've never, it's never been in hail. It's always been parked indoors. We've never scrubbed it up against a tree. I've never done any really heavy off-roading with it. We've taken it off-roading twice and both times, actually the last time I took it off, I didn't even end up in four-wheel drive. We were able to capably get everywhere we were going on that trail um, in two-wheel drive. So, um, so it hasn't been off-roaded a lot. It's been driven to the grocery store. <laughs> uh, but a few more customizations here. We put some grab handles in, heavy duty rubber mats. Of course, it's got touch screen, it's got heated seats. The seats fold forward and everything that you would expect, you know, from a vehicle like this, you push the little button. They fold forward really easy. Heavy duty cargo mat in the rear. Um, custom subwoofer in the back with a little set base knob in the front so you can control the base. Um, one thing that's really important to me when I'm riding along in a car like this especially is I got to have my tunes. I love music. I've got a stereo system in every room in my house and I, um, I got to have my tunes. So one of the complaints, in fact, you can find a video that's a really good one that says, you know, 10 of the best things and then 10 of the worst things about the new Bronco. And one of the list of the 10 of the worst things is if you didn't get the Bang & Olsen stereo system, then the stock stereo is not that great. I'm going to agree, but added the subwoofer and custom speakers. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, not custom speakers. We have the factory speakers are all in here, but we did put a custom amplifier in. And man, that just made a world of a difference. 
So I'm trying to think of what else. Oh yeah, when you take the top all the way off, I bought a custom bag for that. It's a little custom subwoofer in the back. It's a space saver, which is really nice. So it doesn't take up a lot of room and it sounds amazing. Uh, this is a bag I bought. This is for the top. So when you take the, t the sides off, you can put it in the bag and they stay protected. That was something that was really important to me as well. It does have the uh, tow package, optional heavy duty tow package on it or max tow package. I guess that's what they called that. And I'm trying to think of what else. This has just been so much fun. Um, just under 20,000 miles, I think I said. And uh, great vehicle. The top goes up and down so easily. It just looks amazing. Like I said, I've spent $10,000 with the decals and the lift and all that stuff. So I definitely make the argument to, you know, buy from an individual, buy something like this. Of course, I want to sell mine, but uh, when somebody else has spent that much money souping it up and it's only $1,000 more than what the dealership's asking, plus once they tack on those docking fees and dealer fees and all that other stuff, it's amazing. We've been, we've been actually looking at another vehicle right now and the price goes from 50000 to 57000 as soon as they slide the paper across the desk. So anyways, of course, you'll have to go pay the tax on this when you buy it. But other than that, this is an individual purchase. And, uh, and uh, we've loved it. I have nothing negative to say about it. It's just been a blast. In fact, I probably wouldn't even be selling it um, if I didn't need a truck. But we decided that we, we want to uh, trade it in for a truck. So this is going to be a blast for someone to own, have a ton of fun with. This is really completely ready to go. Mostly been driven by my wife uh, back and forth to the grocery store and things like that. So <laughs> um, absolutely beautiful. 21 Bronco. Look forward to hearing from you guys. And uh, yeah.